Hello, my very most beautiful Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing your July bonus reading. Now, this is a general reading, and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open, and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Scorpios, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Scorpio's energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. So, my loves, this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So, whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. We have intense. I would not expect anything less from a Scorpio reading. I'm so attracted to you. I'm not available. And I wonder if you're moving on. I don't react when people mention you. Guys, this is this could be kind of specific. I'm getting kind of a specific storyline. I'm getting a couple actually, so just take it how it resonates for you. We're going to grab the tarot just so that we can um, get more information. But I feel like this is somebody who's, they aren't available. And I, and I feel like that's because they are already in a committed connection. Now, Scorpio, some of you guys, you know, they, you met this person and there's just an, a very intense there's a very intense connection, a very intense attraction to one another. That being said, some of you guys are just not willing to go there because they're in a connection or you could have found out after you started up. For others of you guys, I feel like you, I don't want to put this. I feel like if you did have some kind of um, relationship with this person, I do feel like some of you guys are realizing where you're, you want to be the only person, okay? Let's just put it like that. So I, I do feel like you guys could be pulling back your energy or could have pulled back your energy because of that. And for some of you guys as well, this person could be um, somebody that you were in a relationship with, a connection with, and then you separated and now they're in a karmic situation. Okay, so they're in another connection, but they still can't stop thinking about you. Just take it how it resonates, but I'm, these are the kind of storylines that are coming up. Let's get a let's take a look. Show me what's going on in this person's headspace. What's their thoughts when it comes to Scorpio? What are their thoughts when it comes to Scorpio? The Seven of Swords. Especially if they were dishonest with you about the connection that they were in. The Page of Wands. And the Devil. There is a very very strong physical attraction, a very strong physical desire. I don't want to say obsession, but it almost does look like this person could be obsessed with you. I mean, especially physically. There is a very like seductive, very, very strong um, desire towards you, Scorpio. Like this very intense draw towards you. Hierophant. Some of them are married or in a commitment. And it's like that doesn't even matter because I do feel like I think it's you're the one that is like, no, I'm not willing to do this while this is the situation because I feel like they don't even care. Seven of Swords, you know, Devil Energy, Page of Wands. I still feel like they would start things up with you again um, despite their other commitment, despite the situation. They like they're kind of obsessed with you, Scorpio. Show me what's going on in this person's heart space. The Wheel of Fortune. The Fool card. The Ten of Swords. Some of them could be thinking about ending something in order to come towards you. They know that that's what's going to take. They know that that's what it's going to take in order for them to have anything with you here. Um, so it's like they don't like where things are at. Wheel of Fortune, they want things to kind of move forward. But they understand that to have that beginning, to be able to have things move forward... Something is going to have to end here. They're going to have to close something out. It's like they do, like in their heart space, that is what they desire. They do a desire to close that out. But let's see what their true intentions are. What are their true intentions when it comes to Scorpio? The Page of Swords, they definitely are watching you. They have eyes on you, Scorpio. 
like I said, I feel like this person's, I don't, like, it doesn't feel like obsessed in, like, a dangerous way, but they kind of, they are, they're obsessed with you. They definitely have eyes on you, too. They can even be making, I'm getting, like, even, like, with this devil energy over here, seven of swords energy. To me, that's a little sneaky. Some of them, if you have them blocked, Scorpio, they could be making fake accounts just to watch, just to see what you're up to, to see if you're moving on. Got the king of swords. Some of you guys could have, you know, given them the cold shoulder, could have cut them out, could have set your boundaries up because of, you know, their commitment here. Star card. They want to heal things with you. You're their wish. They're, they want this. But they know what they need to do in order to have you. You know, they know what they need to do in order to be with you. It's showing up in their heart space. So they recognize that that's what they need to do. But they want to just sneak around. That's the thing is they want to be able to have their cake and eat it too. With this Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, Hierophant, Devil Energy. You know, they know that they need to... To, they know what they need to do, but they would rather just take the easy way out because they don't want to have to, you know, deal with all of the the drama that's going to ensue here. King of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of strong physical attraction, especially. I don't think it's just physical, but there's this heavy, heavy, seductive physical attraction to you, Scorpio. What actions will they take? Nine of Cups. To me, that's not a big action card, but it is like a wishing card. Page of Cups. They could be trying to reach out and tell you how they feel. They could be apologizing for things here. The Magician. They want to make something happen. So it's like they're they're wishing and man, like wanting to manifest, wanting to wish for this, wanting to reach out, wanting to apologize, wanting to tell you how they feel. But they're not in their action. I don't see them ending things. I don't see them, you know, making any changes. They're just like wishing and hoping that they can kind of have. They don't have to do that. The Eight of Pentacles. I really think they can't get you off their mind with that energy as well. The Three of Cups. So, I would be cautious with this energy, Scorpio, because they do want you. That means that I don't see them actually making the changes. The Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, it's like they want to be able to, you know, I feel like they want to be able to, they want to put you in a third party here. They want to kind of tell you that, oh, it will get to this point and I will get there. I will do this. I feel like there's like breadcrumbing or making these empty promises type of an energy here. We're going to grab another deck. We're going to take a look at what the biggest challenge in this situation is. We're going to look at what you don't see coming and some advice. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you guys have already pulled back your energy. You guys have already went cold shoulder on this person, King of Swords. You're cutting out anything that it doesn't serve or goes against your boundaries. I feel like you, and the King of Swords is very direct, very forward, very honest, you know, all very Scorpio qualities. Um, and I do, I feel like you are very upfront with this person, like this is what it is. And you know, they're, they're thinking about that here. What's the biggest challenge for Scorpio here? The Six of Cups. Some of you guys could have known this person for quite some time. Some of you guys could have thought this person was your soulmate. This is your energy though. Six of Cups is Sun and Scorpio. Um, and, the, and the Sun kind of can illuminate some of the darker things or some of the deeper underlying things. Um, that's what the Sun does, right? It illuminates things for us. I feel like this situation has, your challenge is allowing this, the Sun to illuminate, you know, some of the more unpleasant aspects of this person and the situation and their intentions, okay? Where you're you're really seeing, it is really being shown to you here, um, you know, that this person doesn't actually plan on making the changes, you know, that they are just a lot of empty promises. And you could feel a strong connection to this person, but with that sun in your sign energy, you know, with that sun in Scorpio energy, you know, things are being illuminated for you. And it's like dealing with those kind of crappier energies those harsh truths what doesn't Scorpio see coming the ace of cups it may be a little bit more triggering than you thought that this could be like an outpouring of emotion or this person reaching out especially the page of cups here and showing up I do feel like it could be just them really really kind of trying to tug on your heartstrings here because you do feel something from them the ace of swords they could be reaching out and really really you know pulling on those heartstrings but I feel like a lot is being illuminated for you here I also feel like there is going to be something new coming in for you guys. Some of you guys could have just met somebody or you will be meeting somebody. It could be an air sign. doesn't have to be. It could be a fellow water sign as well. Even maybe another Scorpio. I'm also getting a lot of Pisces energy. You have an earth energy here as well too. 
So the strength card, it may not be easy for you. Like I said, this could be a little triggering when this person reaches out. Um, it may not be easy for you to kind of shut this person down. I feel like you guys are though. What, act, what advice do we have? What advice? The star card. It's like a time for healing now. The strength card, the star card, the five of wands. I feel like you're trying to avoid the drama. You're trying to just heal from the situation. I do feel like there's going to be, I do feel like you guys, if you guys don't already have other options, I feel like you guys are about to. I feel like there could be something new trying to come in for you as well. And like I said, it does kind of feel like another water sign. Um, maybe even another Scorpio. Like I said, you got the King of Cups here as well, which is your energy. But this is what I'm seeing for you. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.